So with the new patch around the corner, I'm actually excited for this one. So I'm uh, I'm hoping that all of this will work out just fine. But there's one major concern I have with all of this, and I'm not talking about the radar sides with the lead indicator. I'm not talking about better missiles or the top speed of the T2 or any balance related stuff like that. I am concerned mainly about the teams. In one team you will get the F-86 F-2, the Hunter, the F-100, the Javelin and the Mystia. At your, your best. Well, minus the Javelin of course. And on the other side you will get the F-40 which outclasses the F-2. You get the CL which outclasses the F-2 and the Hunter and to a certain extent the F-100. You get the CL Mark VI which outclasses these planes but even harder. You get the Mitsubishi T2 which outclasses the F-100 in all important aspects, you get the MiG-19S which outclasses the F-100 in most aspects except for the missiles but it won't need them and then you get the second problem with these teams Germany, Japan and Italy almost have zero bad 9.0's when you get a full team of 9.0 and 10.0's one end will have all the good planes like the T2, the G91Y the CL Mark 6, the CL Mark 5, the F-40 and the other side will have Venoms Javelins, A5 Sabres, the MD452C, the Vautour2A, Vautour2B, FJ4s. You're, you're seeing what, I'm, what my problem with this is. And these planes will have absolutely zero chance for those full teams of good planes. Because the worst plane that they will have in their team is maybe a MiG-15 BIS or G91R1. And these planes aren't bad in the slightest. The worst planes on the end of the Axis teams will be near the best planes that the allies have which is completely ridiculous and I'm not trying to rip on Gaijin here because I think for right now what I'm seeing is a fantastic patch with a lot of potential but if they screw up these teams top tier will die and I'm calling it right now because if you want to fly allies versus these planes it doesn't matter how much better you are than them you are going to get clubbed and you can say, oh, but if you're a good pilot, you can win. No. Because on average, there will only be one or two really good pilots in your game. The rest will be average. And they will be around the same skill level on, on both sides. But one side will have superior planes across the board. They will have more fighters. They will have more useful fighters. Their support fighters can carry. Which is a problem. When the support fighters can carry versus another team... There's a problem going on. And I really hope, I really, really hope that they change this. Because if this stays like it is right now, everyone will gravitate towards Japan. You get mixed teams, so why do you have the teams to begin with? You, you hear what I'm coming from, right? If you're always going to get mixed, because no one wants to fly US, no one wants to fly Britain, then why do you have the teams in the first place? I think it's a good good moment to, to really think about these teams and revert them to what they once were. You get the Russians in one team, the Germans in one team, and the French in one team. This way, the Russians have some bad planes, the French have some bad planes. I know this is a very cheap way of coming up with a quote-unquote solution, but I think for the short term, for the patch drop, just an easy quick fix. I'm not asking for reduced RP, I'm not asking anything like that. I'm asking for a simple balance change. I'm not doing this to stir shit or to get easy views. I am genuinely concerned with the state of top tier as someone that has been flying top tier for the last two and a half years almost exclusively sure I've been back to props here and there but I've always come back to this because I like this I like jet gameplay and I'm really I'm really worried f for the future because if they screw these teams up they might kill their own top tier and you can say oh just don't play it if you don't like it which I am I am agreeing with but this is a very simple fix it's one day they revert it. It's, it's not even historical as it is right now. So why would we... That's not even an argument here. I think it's a very good idea to switch these teams up again. And I'd really appreciate it if you could share this video. Even if it's with one or two or three people. Because I am not the biggest channel. I don't have the reach some people do. I really wish I did, but I don't. And I really hope that Gaijin will hear this. They will see this. And maybe some bigger YouTubers can also address this. And they might actually listen. I know a lot of people are skeptical. Because Gaijin quote unquote never fixes anything. Which I disagree with on a personal level. Sure the game isn't perfect. I'm not saying that at all. 
but there is so much room for improvement and potential that I, I would find it a very big shame if all of this hard work they put in this would get curbed on the side just because of a simple team fix. Well, my rant is over. I hope you, you did kind of enjoy it or agree with it. If you do agree with it, please share this around. I don't care who you give it to. I don't care where you post it. Just let people know or just type it out. Whatever. Share this opinion if you agree with it. Because I genuinely think that this game is in danger or at least top tier. That out of the way. Thanks for watching and I will uh, see you in the next one.